Warning. The following program may contain foul fucking language, gory ass shit, or the occasional slow point because I can be a lazy fuck with editing. Viewer discretion is potentially advised, but also probably rejected. From the land of OP, I'm Rob the OP Gamer, and I bring you episode number 15. I think it's 15. If it's not, whatever. Who gives a fuck? It's one of these episodes that comes after 10. Uh, wait, let me think. Actually, I'm curious now. Uh, I know, I know that it's. Hang on, wait. I can look at this. Greater than one, less than 50. Exactly. So 13. Four. Yeah, it's 15. Nice. I was right. Ha 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 ha! Ah, we as the first ever Agarian Skies run with Xavier and some people that have joined the server and haven't actually played since, like Shadow and Blue Fairy. Uh, that kind of thing. Last episode was kind of a long episode. I'm trying to record some episode before going to the beach, because I won't be around for about two weeks almost, because I'll be gone for the whole weekend and I work during the week, obviously. I made pants and boots. Xavier and I are wearing the same outfit to the ball. Fashion faux pas up the ass, if you know what I mean. At least I got glasses and not goggles, so there's a little bit of difference. That's true. And you've got the uh, Xavier, Mc, Xavier McPasty skin, and I've got the uh, iron skin armor. I was trying to make yeah. trying to epidermis jokes there. It didn't work out. I'm going to work on wands. What do you think? You want a wand? Well, good wands would be good. So we can actually craft crap. Oh, I'm still holding your orb. I'll put it back for you. Okay. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to run in here. There, I'm just putting orbs away. So now let's do wands. I've got everything we need, actually. I've, I've compiled everything we need. I've got four inert thomium caps. I've got two of each shard. I've got 14 Salus Mundus, two silverwood logs, and I've got two silverwood saplings. Because I found those fuckers. Because I had to chop down a sapling, uh, chop down a tree earlier. Excellent. So, uh, I think we should make stuff. But to make stuff... Make all the things. Uh, the caps have to be Arcane Infusion with 6 Aurum and 12 Potentia per cap with uh, 3 Salus Mundus apiece. And um, the Silverwood Wand Cores have to be made out of a Silver Log with one of each Air Shard and a Salus Mundus with 9 of each Base Element and 9 per Cantio. And then the actual wand itself, when you put the caps on the silver wand core, I wonder if that's just a crafting recipe. Yeah, I think attaching the caps to the wand is just a simple recipe. Okay. Well, as you can see, Xavier, I have upgraded our uh, room back here with a ME access terminal for the network, and there's one on the other side over here, too. These boots make me haul ass, by the way. I am just blitzing around. They do. I'm going to have crazy glitchy screens for the next several episodes while I get used to this shit. Um, wow, shifting makes me do normal run speed. That looks hilarious, too. Yeah. We should just run around like this from now on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> doink, doink. <laughs> Ah, uh, so funny. Sorry, I got distracted, you guys. Uh, <laughs> so, um, you got any, uh, any, uh, Xavier McTricks for getting exactly the amount of, like, what has Aurum on it? Just anything? Easy to get, easy to get that we might have access uh, to? Uh, sugar cane. Oh, cool. I made us some jars, in case you didn't see that. I see. And I made us some uh, Alimbics, but I haven't made a way to transfer things from the Alimbics into the jars yet. Golem? Uh, do you want to make a Golem Core? I'm making extra sugar cane. I'm forcing it to grow fast. Ah, well, I'll move this over here so we have the ter terminal a little easier to access, and maybe we can make a Golem. So I know we have Golems, we just don't have the core. That's all we need, right, is a core? Yeah. Just the core. 
Alright, I'll work on a core. Which core is it? Uh, alchemy core, I think. I think it's alchemy. Well, I guess I have to research some, some golem core, so let me do a YouTube cut, guys. We'll be back. Alright, guys, so in order to make a golem alchemy core with uh, three water bottles and a jar and a golem animation core, it's an infusion recipe, and you have to make it out of a regular animation core for decanting. Decanting core is a crucible recipe where you drop the regular animation core into a aqua, five aqua and five vacuous crucible. Well, Xavier has informed me that bowls have exactly one vacuous on them, and I haven't scanned them yet, so maybe I should do that. Or I can throw my book on the ground. Mm, equally productive. One vacuous. So, bowls have one vacuous. So we got five of these guys, and sugarcane have one water, one air, one herba. We don't care about the herb in the air, but whatever. In, in, chronic, and there's our decanting core. Ha, oh, decanting core, and we have five of each of these left. Um, and here's how we take care of that. We'll just grab Xavier's wand here, and we'll just right click, and then, and then we make a mess. And then, we take this cobblestone right here, and we can just place it over the top, and one on top of there, and bam, all done. And then, to get these out of here, God, I cannot control myself with these fucking boots. Now, I'm so not used to this. We can take these precision shears. If you want to temporarily disable that stuff, there is an item that can do that. Nah, I need to get used to it. If I disable it, I won't get used to it. True. Precision shears immediately pick up whatever's, whatever you're clicking with them that can be gone by a stone pick. So there we go. Now we don't have a stone in the barrel. Ow, ow. No, no cooking my tootsies. So now we need to infuse this. How are we going to infuse this? Well, we need uh, three water bottles, a water jar, 15 aqua, 15 modus, and 15 percantio. What do you think, Xavier? Do we? So put that in the center. And we need a board of jar, so I'll just take one of these that I made earlier. Don't even give a fuck right now. And I'll just take that guy up right there. And we need three water bottles, and we need 15, 15, and 15, so I should probably make them in numbers of eight, because I made some uh, glass files for moving stuff temporarily for essences. So, um, let's get some coal. We'll jam some coal in here for cooking stuff up. There we go. And as we discussed, aqua. There's one aqua of each on the sugar canes. So let's go ahead and get, uh, we'll just do 16 sugar canes. That'll give us what we want, right? Yeah. What's a good source of modus and percantio? Percantio, um, hmm. Blaze stuff? Should have a crap ton of blaze powder. I think glass files have exactly and one modus. on one vacuous as well. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they had, uh, what was that? Vacuous and aqua. Nope, just vacuous. Would you like roof? Nope, I believe you. Are you sure you believe me? I could be making shit up. You don't know. Nah. It'll make science exciting. Now oh, I should probably get... Since when were files reusable? I made a stack and a half and I just used uh, six of them and I still have a stack and a half. For Cantio. Uh, I want to say Thomcraft 4.1. If I'd known that, I wouldn't have made a stack and a half. I'd have made like, made like 16. <laughs> That's bullshit. I call shenanigans. I demand someone call Azenor and have him undo it for my purposes right now. Uh, nerf? He nerfs all kinds of other shit. I don't know why he wouldn't nerf that. What's good modus? Trapdoors? I think trapdoor is probably the best. The easiest to make, at least. 
see, where's a brick? Yeah, trap doors have one. Doors might have more than that, but I think they also have more other aspects. Alright, I need a crafting table right here, so we are going to do that. And let's make ourselves... I have no idea what how much of a trap door gives. We're going to find out here in just a second, guys. Whoa. Doink. And one modus. Oh, that's cute. So we're going to get two of these. So, one modus. Hmm. One modus. And we need 16 modus. Well, 15 modus. We need 15, but I do these in 16s because these files only hold 8 resonances at a time, exactly. So, let's go ahead. Let's get these out of here really quick. And we'll put these over here. Oh, wait, there's four in there. Four of fire worth. There we go. So, let's do... Two, four... Six. Wait, these are one each? Yeah, so... We need 16 trap doors. Let's just see how many that gets us. 12. That'll be 13, 14. There we go, that should do it exactly, actually. Nice. So we'll cook up these trap doors. Can't shift click the trap doors in there for some fucking reason, who knows. Oh well. Now I need glass bottles. So we'll just make glass bottles. There's three. I seem to remember having a zillion. Didn't we garbage those? I think we garbaged him. That's okay, though. We have an aqu aqueous buried under here for automatic water, so I just pulled it out of there. We're good. So we're going to put one of these here, one of these, I'm going to say there, and one of these there. Does that look? Actually, no, that's need to go there. And this needs to be straight across from that jar. That'll work. As long as these two cross these two, that's perfect. And, uh... Let's grab our files of stuff. I really want to be playing WoW right now. <laughs> it's been a while since I had that feeling where I just have been playing a game and want to go back and play that game, but can't play that game right now, so I'm just thinking about it in the back of my head, you know? It's been a while since I've had that feeling. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, which is nobody because I haven't announced it yet, Xavier and I recently... Where's your wand? Oh, it's in my inventory. I'm oh, uh, charging it that. slowly. Smack, smack that thing for me, will you? Uh, Xavier and I recently went back to WoW, and by Xavier and I recently went back to WoW, I mean that, uh... that, uh, I forced Xavier to go back to WoW. You'll need to smack me. it. Oh, well, give me the wand. I forced Xavier back. I was like, let's go. And he's like... I don't really want to, and I was like, I know you want to play World of Draenor, and he's like, yeah, but other things, blah, 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 and I'm like, no, what, no, you're, you're going back, so I was like, here's some game time, you're my bitch, here, join my guild, so now I'm just like, I'm gonna go back, I can't wait for the graphics update, that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, that'll be snazzy. I'm impressed that I was able to go back and jump right back into my Death Knight and do good, like, I ex seriously expect to suck ass right out the gate. Ah, Golem animation cord decanting. Or I mean, Akame. Woohoo! I mean, Here's your wand. Which Golem should we use, sir? Uh. Hmm. What ones do we have? Well, I just pulled a Tallow Golem out of that chest, and we have two wooden, a clay, and a flesh. Wooden, wooden, clay, flesh, tallow. Uh, tallow. Is this the last one you listed? Tallow for, uh, for classic purposes? Yeah. 
Now we right click him on the alchemical furnace or on the um, on the Olympic head above it. The alchemic furnace. Bow decanting, or I mean alchemy. I keep saying decanting, but it's because we made him out of a decanting core. Hey, Golem buddy, what's up? Why is he holding his dick? Uh, maybe he's embarrassed that he's not clothed. He seriously, he look, he's got his arms. Does he, does it, am I having a graphic glitch, or is he doing that on your screen? Like he's got his arms inwards. Yeah, from the angle I'm looking at him, it looks like he's holding his ass. He. <laughs> He's either embarrassed or he really has to pee and is trying to hold it in. Like, he's been in his desk for like eight hours and hasn't had a break, and he's like, I'm gonna wet my chair any second, boss, and we're like, no, do your work! We don't need this kind of alchemy. Yeah, <laughs> right? Okay, so now for cores. So let's set up some cores. Do you want to set them up so you can smack it with the wand? Or should I do it again? I think you'll need to do it, because I don't have any of the research actually researched. Oh, give me your wand. And here, while you have the wand, hold on to this thing. That thing will make you crap out uh, aspect orbs, so you can slowly charge the wand. Okay. So, um, we need the Salus Mundus on top. And then we need one of each thing around it. So, I wonder if they have to be in order. I don't know. Probably just best to do it. So, air, fire, water. So, fire over here. Air, fire, water. And then earth, ordo, entropy. Earth, Ordo, and Entropy. I think I'm going to move that air shard up one. They're, they're kind of spaced all around one after another, except for up at the top there. So that's okay, cool. Uh, we need... What do we need for this? Nine of each aspect of base element. Air, Aqua, Ignis, Ordo, Perdito, Terra, Ignis and nine per cantio, so we'll go back to getting some more reads, I guess. Yep. I started shoving a few things in there that I figured we might need, like some more per cantio. Oh, uh, we should probably oh, tell right. him we need a bell. Yeah. I, I noticed when he was holding this full jar and then staring at you going, now what? Yeah, he's like, hey boss, I, I had to pee and you wouldn't let me. He told me to do my work, but I don't know what work to actually do. Uh, her derp. Alright, eyes bell. Hey buddy. There, there's your work. Get to it. He's like, I guess. Oh god. Oh, Jesus. You useless fuck! There. Sometimes you just gotta kinda shove them around a little bit. That's how it is with every worker, though, I think, right? They start to slack off, you shove them a little bit. Maybe threaten to... Yeah. Call in Bertha from the mailroom. Nobody wants to tangle with Bertha from the mailroom. I think he was getting tripped up on these bloodlights. For a moment, strange energies surround the primal char and the dispute clearly, but you were left strangely inspired. Is that what happened? Is that, is the, did that get charged? Uh, was that something that popped up in your chat? Yeah. I think you have a new research unlocked. Check no. uh, your wand cores. Or not wand cores, but uh, wand foci. Oh. Yeah, suddenly I have uh, excavation. I didn't have it before, and there's one that branches off of it called warding. A oh, warding! Holy dick! What, dude? Warding, and I can research it right now. Click, oh man! We need to make a wither farm. That's going to be episode 17. <laughs> We're not a farm, okay. but like a battle arena at least, and it has to look epic. So between now and episode 17, we need to decide what we want to make it out of and make it look awesome. All right. Alright, so we need 
Percantio, we need 18 total Percantio. There's 17 in there. So let me grab some more of those. Um, shit, Blaze? Yeah, there we go. We'll just throw those in there. That's good. And then, um, how much Aqua do we have? 19's Aqua's good. Uh, 34, we got plenty of air, we got plenty of Ignis. Now we need Ordo. What else do we need? Um, we got air, we got Aqua, we got Ignis. We need Ordo, Perdito, and Terra. Terra's good, just, er, just dirt. Yeah. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. You can get Ordo from Lead. Ordo from Lead. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, sweet, straight up Lead blocks. Well, uh, no, that's not good. Three Ordo from a block? Or one from an ingot, that's not worth it. Yeah, <laughs> definitely going ingots. Do I have to wait until the old uh, aspects clear out of here before adding new ones? Nope. If the aspect bar is full, it'll just stop breaking down stuff until there's room. I figured, I just didn't want to combine them in funny ways. Uh, so now we just need Perdito. What's a good Perdito source? Cobble. Oh, good. Not like I don't have a ton of cobble anyway. There we go. That'll work. What's your deal now, dude? Alright, I'm going to do a quick cut while we finish melting this shit up, and then we'll come back for the actual infusion. Because I'm, I'm putting enough uh, aspects in here to infuse both, so we don't need to burn up more afterwards. Awesome. So give us a second, guys. Alright guys, so we melted up all of our aspects, and everything should be good to go. We're going to go ahead and give this a smack, and this is going to instantly start sucking up some stuff. This is kind of what you saw a minute ago when we did the... Um, Golem Core, except for it's a little bit more complicated because we've got a lot more stuff on the altar here. And we have to watch this like a hawk because it says in our book, if we look over here, this is a moderate infusion. So there's a moderate chance of some bad shit happening. And by bad shit, with this kind of an infusion, most likely it'll just destroy something or knock it off the pedestal. I'll have to replace it really quick. And these don't line up exactly right anyway, so we have to kind of watch these. If something pops off, i got to run and grab it and pop pull it in my inventory. But it looks like it's just eating them like normal. So far, so good. You see anything happen, Xavier, that I didn't? You're not even over here, bum. I'm stabbing things in the face. Oh, there we go. There it happened. So, a shard fell off the pedestal. I had to replace it really quick. There we go. So there's our wand. Our wand, our wand rod, anyway. So... You saw the little smoke thing pop off of it, and I had to run over and click it there, and then some more aspects flew over my head, and now we got some crap on the ceiling. Um, I believe it took some extra Ordo. Where's my Ordo? 15. But we still have enough. So I put a little extra of each in, so 15, 15, 23, uh, 9 exactly Aqua, 24 Air, and there's a bunch of Ignis still. So, that did okay. Um, that could have been a lot worse. So I'm going to go ahead and go infuse the second one off camera really quick, and then I'll come back for the wand caps themselves. Hang on, guys. Alright, guys, so uh, I wish I'd captured it on camera, because I caught a wisp. Uh, we had a dark room over there that Xavier had been using for... Ca that was the one we were using to get those little dudes, wasn't it? Yeah, the peck. Yeah. So, um... He happened to notice we were cruising around trying to figure out how we're going to get Orem. The only thing with Orem is these ethereal essences, which drop off wisps. It says Sailor's Mundus has it, but I don't even see it on there, so we have this option only. So it's like, wisps drop these ethereal essences. So it's like, how are we going to get these? We need to be able to harvest wisps. So while working on that, we hit, uh, Xavier happened to notice there was a wisp in there, and he was like, we'll catch that. And I noticed all the mobs were trying to attack him as he was trying to get in there. I'm like, 
you just stay there and distract him, I'll just pop a hole in the wall and catch him. And it was easy as easy as that. I went dig, click, and just caught him with no effort. I went around to the side of the base and just dug into the wall. It did not even see it coming, so that was pretty snazzy on my part, I think. Wish I caught it on camera, it was hilarious. Plus 12 ninja skills. I ninja the, sh ninja the shit out of that wisp. That's for fucking sure. So we're melting up this orum here. I made a few extra jars while Xavier was looking around. And now we're going to have enough of these guys. So I'm going to do one of these on camera really quick and do the rest off camera so you guys can see how this works. So we pop one of these guys in the center. Xavier stuck a bunch of heads around here because of the fact that they reduce the amount of um, badness that can happen. Do you know how much badness it reduces it by, Xavier? Uh, greater than zero. It's never been actually said how much it helps. Just more is better. Ah. What did I do with your wand? I think I left it in this table. Yeah, I did. So here's one cap. They should just pull the orm right out of there. Why is it not pulling orm out? There it goes. I was getting nervous for a second there. I'm like, oh shit. So it's pulling potential and it's pulling orum, which is. There's the orum. And we'll just eat the Salus Mundus. Oh shit. Did it destroy that Salus Mundus? Yeah. Ah shit. Well. It turned it into gas. Sometimes it just knocks it off, it doesn't destroy it. Yeah, that's one of the other forms of instability. Just knocking it off is a lesser form, and then just completely destroying it's a greater form. Yeah, apparently. Your heads, they do nothing! Need more heads. I need more head. But I'm tis. So, I'm going to go infuse the rest of these, uh... Caps, guys, you can see we got one that's kind of shiny and one that's not. We need to infuse the rest to make these wands, and we'll be back. Complete these fucking wands. Yes. Oh shit, it takes a lot of essences. No. Look in this table, dude. I actually can't see it because I don't have that one researched. Oh. Um, so it takes 51.3 of each essence, and that's with me only wearing goggles. I'm assuming I can get that done a little bit with the full suit. Yeah. You should be able to drop that to 50. Uh, 48.6. Woohoo! Which means we're going to have to take this wand and fly around and fill it twice. Yeah. Well, that one once, and we can go ahead and fill up the other one, because bigger discount. Yeah. So... What am I at time-wise? We're at a minute there, and... 26, so I can finish this up. I really need to be going to bed soon, but uh, hey, whatever. Let me go fill up one, guys. We'll be back again. <laughs> Alright, guys, so I flew around the nether for several minutes and uh, filled up Xavier's old wand in the nether, because that seemed like an easy way to get it without having to run around downstairs. So now you can see that we... Insufficient Vs still, because it needs 50. 1.3 of Vs can only hold 50, so we do absolutely have to do this in order to have enough. Luckily, that will complete it. Ha! Th Thummy and Boss Silverwood Wand! All done, sir. Excite. I grant you the first. Ha, oh, man. Ooh. I will shoot rainbows out of happiness. Yeah, you will. <laughs> So, I'm going to take your old wand, and I'm going to go fill it up one more time in the nether. That way I can make my silverwood wand. And then after I get back from doing that, we're going to do one last thing and then end the episode. What do you think, Xavier? Sounds like a plan. Fantastic. I'll be back, guys. Alright, just finished up, guys. We are all set to go. We have 1.4 of each V left in Xavier's old wand. Somehow I don't think he minds. Do you mind? I don't mind. Uh -huh. So that's that. We are all set with the wands, and we both got delicious silverwood wands, which I'm going to put mine away up here. 
Uh, what am I going to take out of here, though? One of these could probably go sit somewhere because I don't really use those anymore. Uh, let's put the wand right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. And this can go in place of the tester. I don't know. I'll keep these on me. That's fine. Got a few things I keep around. I should probably give you back your primal charm, huh? Yeah. And all I have left to do is this. You want to come up here for this? No. You want your primal charm? No. Yep. There you go. Doink. And doink. Yes. Go. What do I do now? Well, that should have been it. Does it not work if they're damaged? Because they're a little damaged. They. It might not work if they're damaged. That's probably what it is then. Can I repair these real quick, do you think? I don't think there's a way to repair things in this. No, oh, we'll make... I have to make new ones, hang on. Alright, here we go. Fresh, pristine goggles. Ow! Oh! Sanguine helmet! Oh, I look like a Coblin Sapper now. Yeah. You are totally wigged out, aren't you? Woo! <laughs> I am thrilled. Yes. Well, those right here in front of the blood altar, what do you think? Sounds good. Hope everyone had an OP time. Make sure to like, favor, follow, subscribe, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter, slash Rob the OP Gamer. Peace. Peace.